What's going on, guys? Welcome back to We Want Picks. My name is Jacob, aka the Freckled Salamander, here to bring you my lock of the week for UFC 302. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like the video, by the way. Subscribe if you are new. What is lock of the week? Quite simply, I pick one underdog that I believe in my mind is going to win with 100% certainty, and we have won seven of our last nine lock of the weeks that's right picking one underdog every week seven of the last nine when we win this week it's going to be an 80 percent pick rate in the last 10 weeks there's nobody that does it better than me and you're gonna be like jacob two weeks ago who was your lock of the week i'm curious it was Ariani, carnalosi and this is how it went down on the saturday live stream enjoy that was a headbutt! DQ! That's a DQ! That's a DQ! DQ-er! That's a DQ! Stay down, Ariani! Stay down! Don't fucking move! Don't fucking move! Look at her! She's dead! As God is my witness, she's dead! Fighter safety! Fighter safety! Don't be a hero! Don't be a hero! Boom! Headbutt! Hey! Don't fucking do that again! Wham! Headbutt it in! Wham! 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 Accidental, my fucking dick and balls. Wham! Three Mark Smith shall stop in this contest at three minutes sixteen seconds of round number two, due to an intentional headbutt. Yes! Oriani Ceriso Carlosi cannot continue. Therefore, she is the winner by ah! seven to nine, baby. Never a fucking down. Play the fucking music, lock of the week! Holy shit! Play the fucking music! <laughs> Easy money, baby! <laughs> Cry your little tears, be Arabella's! Easy! Easiest lock of the week of all time! what I tell you guys, man? What I tell you guys in the lock of the week video, this was going to be the easiest lock of the week of all time. Ariana came through, by the way, dominated that first round, right? So I don't want to hear no bullshit about, oh, a robbery, oh, this, this and that. Ariana dominated that first round of that fight. Clearly up one nothing. Might have been a 10-8 in the first round. Second round, I thought Ariana was winning that second round, right? I thought Ariana could be going up 2-0. So you want to talk about robbery, all this and that? I mean, this was a dominating performance in my mind by Arnie Carnalosi. There was never a fucking doubt. And Lock of the Week has now won seven of fucking nine. There you have it. Ariane Carnalosi two weeks ago came through for us in a big way. Absolutely dominated Pierre Rodriguez to make it seven of our last nine lock of the weeks. And if you guys are interested in supporting the movement of lock of the week, make sure you go to wewantpicks.com. Become a premium member today. It's only $10. How much money have I made you guys in the last nine weeks with these seven dogs? You can't spend $10 a month to support me, Angelo, We Want Picks. You can't support the movement. WeWantPicks.com. Go check it out. We just redid the website. It's absolutely beautiful. And it is going to have everything you need to make you successful in this industry. It is a monster week this week for UFC 302. And I've got something real special. Oh, real special this week for Lock of the Week. I absolutely love it. I said a couple weeks ago, Ariane Carnalosi was eh, wishy-washy this week. This Lock of the Week this week? Oh, without further ado, the Lock of the Week for UFC 302. <laughs> it's none other than...
Times UFC. Give me another shot. They see me off in traffic. They say Jeezy on some other shit. Send them pussy niggas running straight back to the dealership. Me, I'm in my spaceship. That's right, I work for NASA. This FNH is not a fraud. Call that bitch my bodyguard. Call that bitch your bodyguard. Yeah, that's my bodyguard. Wear a lot of jewelry. Young don't do security. What's whiter than a napkin? Harder than a dinner plate. If you want it, come and get it. You know I stay super straight. Ran up in my spots, I'm now working out the super eight. Know you niggas hungry. Come and get a super plate. Y'all sing happy birthday. Yeah, I got that super cake. Honey carrot bracelet. I use it like some super bait. I put on for my city. On, on for my city. I put on for my city. On, on for my city. Put on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little trailer there for UFC 302. Kind of a cold open. I put that together. I hope you guys enjoy that transition into Lock of the Week this week, which is Mitch Raposo. This dude's a fucking dog. This dude's an absolute animal. Absolutely well-rounded. Listen, I know that Lima's good, right? I was at that fight, the Apex fight, the, the bite fight, right? I know how good that guy is. Very well-rounded. Dangerous off his back now with the black belt. Good striker, dangerous striker. He's probably going to be the more dangerous guy, especially early in this fight. I like the well-roundedness of Mitch, man. This guy can wrestle. This guy's got jits. This guy's got boxing. And I absolutely love the most his defensive abilities in the striking. I think his vision is absolutely superb. It feels like he can see everything. His counter striking is precise. If he gets in trouble with the striking, he can go to the wrestling. He is a very good wrestler. I don't think Lima is going to be shooting takedowns, putting Mitch on his back. I think it's going to be Mitch going tit for tat with the striking with this guy Lima. Having the forward pressure in the hometown. This guy's wanted another shot at the UFC. Here he is right now and what i would do if i was mitch is one minute to go in every single round i'm going all in for a blast double takedown i am solidifying these rounds now there are a couple red flags in this situation i will tell you this is about one week's notice for Mitch. Now, he has gone five rounds. He's gotten finishes in four rounds. This is 125. Typically, there aren't big cardio issues with these smaller guys. But one week notice, I can't help but have PTSD from my guy, Bernardo Sopai, the Lion King, because he came in and was smoking that dude for two rounds and fell off a fucking cliff. I hope that doesn't happen to Mitch here. The other thing that I don't like about Mitch sometimes is he's got a little bit spam happy with that overhand right. He throw the overhand right, and he throw the overhand right. And, he throw it. and if he's doing that for three rounds, he might lose this fight. But I'm telling you right now, this guy Mitch is a dog. He's been waiting for this opportunity to come once again. He's got it in his hometown. Not really a hometown. New Jersey's a Northeast guy. He's going to be fired up. First fight of the night. How many times have we seen first fight? of the night the dog comes in and win and surprises everyone we got mitch what plus 200 now i'm taking that all day every day as lock of the week for ufc 302 as always let me know in the comments below if you agree if you disagree let me know who your underdog lock of the week is for ufc 302 we're running hot right now this is for eight of 10 nobody hotter nobody does it better make sure you like the video subscribe if you are new 
My name is Jacob, a.k.a. the Freckle Salamander, and I'm out. Peace.